Hey guys, day two, Paintball Extravaganza 2017, Social Paintball. We uh, put that video up yesterday. You guys gave us your feedback. We gave you the top five things that you guys wanted to know about. Um, again, if you guys have any other questions, put it on here. If we have time, we'll try to go back and ask those questions. May not be able to get a video, but we'll at least try to get you some answers. Uh, take a look at it, let us know what you think. Hashtag for the players. Travis Lemansky here with Valken Sports. Um, so I'm gonna take you through the new VSL. Uh, the VSL stands for Valken Switch Loader. Um, quick breakdown, you just flip that tab up, push the button in, pops open. Three AA batteries, triple I system. Uh, why we call it the Valken Switch Loader is right here. You take out this arm, and this is the 68 cal arm. It also comes with a 50 cal arm, so you can switch back and forth. Uh, that's your, uh, your raceway, pretty much everything you got going. Um, in the back here has a ramp. The ramp, when it's installed, allows you to get pretty high rates of fire. Um, if you play, you know, NXL and you're 12 balls a second or 10 balls a second or whatever, you don't really care about high rates of fire. You can take that out and get another 25 balls. So that's that. Uh, MSRP is 129, and release date's in about 90 days. So I'll show you one of the final features. So the cool thing uh, about this loader is basically the lid and the speed feed. So if you have your speed feed installed and you have your rain lid in the bag and in the middle of your match it starts raining, you can literally just pop it off you know, and switch lids mid-game. So it's just a press fit, spring stays in place, you just line it back up, pop it back on. Check us out on uh, falcon.com uh, for more information on, on when the loader will be exactly available. Um, social media, you can follow us on Falcon Sports uh, or on Instagram, Falcon. Hey, this is Joe Schrauer from Field One Paintball and San Diego Dynasty, and we are here at the Paintball Extravaganza. And uh, just wanted to let you guys in on what we have going on currently and what we have coming up in the future. Right now, we're producing the G6R and the MVP pump. Uh, we're excited for our new gun, which is going to be the Field One Force. It's going to be a spool valve gun. Still in testing phase, we want to make sure that we put it through all the paces and test it as much as we can. Um, but we're excited to start letting out uh, some of our new design concepts and show you guys what we have coming in the future. If you have any questions um, or want to get in contact with us about new stuff or even picking up one of these beauties, you can find us on Facebook at Field One Paintball or Instagram at Field One Paintball. Um, or feel free to just call in the shop. Tim Montressa here from GOG Paintball, showing off the new Freak XL. So we'll open it up here, show off some of the features. So we've, this is the first change that we've had to the Freak Barrel since 2001, so think about that. So we've gone from a five inch control bore to an eight inch control bore. This will allow you to drop your operating pressure, which in theory will make your gun shoot smoother, open more accurately. We've changed the, so not only have we changed the, the Insert, we've also changed the case. So we've gone to a carbon fiber outside, we've got a beefier zipper on it, got rid of all the Velcro on the inside, so it's got a nice magnet here for the flap. The back and the tip, uh, one of the big things we worked on is make sure that we keep the same ratio of tip to the back. So when you actually screw it together, we've had a lot of questions asked about the appearance of it, but it actually looks the exact same. So the insert goes into the tip, Right, so it aligns it evenly. We've added a third O-ring to the, to the barrel tip as well. So we've also changed the threads on this. So it allows it to uh, thread together a little bit smoother. The old ones had maybe a potential to bind up, so this one's nice and smooth. Uh, we'll be shipping these about mid-April. So make sure you guys get online and order these right away. If you got any more questions, check us out at www.gogpaintball.com. Hi, this is Brian Sullivan from First Strike. What I wanted to talk to you about was a different way of looking at ammunition, your loadout. This is a standard 20 round magazine that can hold both first strike and round ball that everybody's pretty familiar with. But today, introducing something that is a new paradigm when it comes to your loadout. This is the wave of the future for less lethal, paintball, first strike, shaped projectiles. This holds 100 plus projectiles in a non-pressurized or non-constrained way. The way that it works is indexed so that when you load this up, every shot that you fire 
is in a free state where balls are not compressing each other and it's full auto capable. The way that you use it, is you would have a preloaded cartridge that comes with the unit that holds what your loadout will be. If it's loaded with 100 first strike rounds, you put it onto the, as a cassette, and you move it over, drop in 20, move it over, drop in 20, move it over, drop in 20, one more time, close it up, you got 100. Rack your round in and you're ready to go. So. Available pretty soon, uh, we'll say in a reasonable amount of time. We've been doing quite a bit of research on this already. One of the things to be known is, is that even though it holds 100 rounds, service is very, very easy. So you would just be taking off these clips, you expose the interior, you take off the tower, and the entire in interior of the system is exposed for easy cleaning, service, and so on. Be sure to check us out at FirstStrike.com, Twitter, Facebook. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Dan over at Dive Paintball here at day two of Paintball Extravaganza here in DC. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the new hopper we just released yesterday, the LTR. So the inspiration for the LTR came from us really noticing a void in the market of entry-level hoppers to get into players who had just started in the sport, maybe bought you know, a $250, $300 gun, and needed something that was reliable, durable, and affordable to put on their gun to get them into the game. So we took our original rotor, best-selling product that Dice had in a, in a number of years, and redesigned it so we could shave a little bit of cost out of it and make it hit the price point that we were looking for, which is $99.95. So immediately, you're gonna notice some differences on the outside. No more metal jewels. The logo is now integrated into the shell. No more windows as well. Still gonna have the same anti-jam shark fin that you're used to. The button is now an injection molded plastic rather than metallic. And uh, as far as disassembly though, it's gonna come apart the exact same way as the regular rotor. Gonna perform very similar, but uh, definitely missing some of the bells and whistles of the original rotor. So you'll notice the feed tray pops right out. Still runs on three AA batteries. Same motor and same engine overall as the rotor one, but uh, like I said, definitely kind of missing some of the bells and whistles of the original rotor. The feed carrier and the tray will dissemble exactly the same. Everything you're used to seeing out of a rotor, just uh, shaved a little bit of a cost out of it and enabled us to hit that price point of $99.95 and help get more people that are just getting into the sport awesome entry-level equipment at a good price. So be sure to check us out on Facebook at shop.diepaintball.com as well as Instagram Die Paintball, and we're gonna have these shipping to dealers worldwide in about a week. Perfect. Cool.